everyone thank you so much for joining me on my channel now I've got a beautiful color for you and I've got two color combinations that I'm hoping you probably haven't heard of or tried before because they're a little bit different so usually we'd put something like this crackling campfire being a red verging on orange we'd usually put it with the warm colors so uh, other reds um, yellows and oranges but I'm going to go slightly different certainly with one of the combinations today so see uh, what you think of it and definitely let me know in the comments if you're just joining me for the first time thank you so much for coming along this is the distress oxide series of color combinations working through each of the distress oxide colors in alphabetical order we're taking a look at the color and then we're taking a look at color combinations so there's a two color combination in with the uh, the focal point so three colors all, all told and then there's also going to be a four color combination as well for each video so hopefully lots and lots of distress oxide combinations for you to get started with now let's go first of all with what does this color look like on its own now because of the combinations that i'm going to be doing I'm going to put crackling camphor into the middle of this strip today so as i said it is a red with uh, an certainly an, a hint of orange in it quite a lot of orange in it i feel look how beautifully that's gone on so nice now uh, one thing that was requested and that I've started doing is comparing this to other um, similar colors in the distress range so you can kind of see where they stand so let's pull out some of my kind of similar colors here we go so these are lots of reds now as you can see crackling campfire is it kind of sits between i would say barn door and ripe persimmon i think so it's definitely going towards the orange side ripe persimmon is i would say an orange barn door a red and it's right in the middle of those two now candied apple is a much brighter red as you can see there if i just hold it so that you haven't got the glare much much brighter red almost a hint of pink in there fired brick is kind of a duller red it's almost got um, a gray in there i feel nowhere near as bright a red in there so hopefully that helps you if you've got a number of the distress oxides already and you're wondering whether it's worth getting this one it's definitely that borderline between red and orange now for this reason i'm going to mix this in with a yellow for our first combination so let's just remove some of the excess off of my blending mat and these little clear blending mats i also have these they come in a pack so the little six by six one and also the larger a four one they come in a pack of two just like like that from craft stash i've got them linked below so if you'd like some of those to protect your work surface when you're doing your ink blending and other mixed media techniques you can find them there available at craft stash now wild honey is going to be our first color that we're going to blend into crackling campfire feeling very autumnal with this blending it in it just works so beautifully look at that it's taken no time at all to get a perfect blend between the two so let's just bring a bit more yellow down so you can kind of push color around a little bit as well um, quite easily when you've got lots of ink on there while it's still wet so if you noticed I had a bit of red um, or the orange red up here and I just sort of moved it away a little bit when it dries you'll of course get that matte finish it's going to be beautiful so that's into wild honey and that is a beautiful combination on its own and then we're going to just kind of uh, end this color combination with round espresso a really really deep dark brown now this I like to use in a similar way to the way I use black soot and there is a video for that in on the playlist you'll find that on YouTube already look how deep and dark this is ground espresso I think is just the perfect name for this color it does remind me of coffee there we go I'm going to come back in with my crackling campfire and just blend into that gorgeous dark color take your time with your blends sometimes you need to work at them longer than others so it almost looks black but it's not it's a, it's warmer than a black how beautiful is that 
such a lovely ben blend it kind of reminds me of halloween as well or fall absolutely so that is wild honey and ground espresso mixed with crackling campfire okay so let's move on to our next color combination now this time we're going to go um, quite girly with this one so let's pop that to the side now we're going to start this one with tattered rose okay so tattered rose in here and bring that into the end again one of those pale colors so it does need a bit of a bit more work to get the color laid down so that you can really see it and there we go nice large amount of that then crackling campfire so i'm just going to blend look how well this works with tattered rose tattered rose has a hint of peach to it so the orange base in that red just works so so well isn't that a lovely lovely color blend between those two so i'm just going to do a bit more of the crackling campfire up here a little bit heavier up here because i'm going into a darker color so let's just wipe my mat once more and then let's go into aged mahogany such a pretty color this is one that sat in my stash i bought it because i didn't have it it sat there for such a long time and i just didn't use it and it's a shame because i mean look at this it really is mahogany it's a maroon a burgundy it works with reds it works with purples it works into browns as well it works so well into blues too uh, it's just such a great versatile color so there we go there's those look at those three together perfect absolutely perfect and then aged mahogany let's put a bit more up here because we're going to take this into a purple into dusty concord so let's take our excess off and dusty concord just into the end here just for a little bit of difference it's just a sort of a, a pop of color that you probably wouldn't expect within this color blend when you're looking at the first three colors going quite obviously together and then purple just on the end there absolutely gorgeous now sometimes occasionally you'll find you're just not happy with the way your colors have blended um, that here probably actually more because they're still wet so you can see the shine there while well, they're still wet so um, just picking up just reminding you from a previous week where we've done other colors you can spray into your hand a little bit of water and flick that on but you can also just do a light mist without put it without doing the droplets in your hand so you've got a very light mist over and with oxides this really does give a lovely chalky finish uh, you get the reaction that you'd usually expect from distress inks and oxides you can see it's starting to happen there and if your blending is not absolutely perfect it's a brilliant way of giving all over kind of a mist of speckles there a bit more subtle than the previous little blobs that we've done by flicking water off of our hands so getting larger blobs but yeah a little more subtle here and it's just beautiful so just lifting off the excess there so it doesn't change too much more and as that dries you'll see you've got that beautiful effect lovely so there we go so there's two more color combinations for you to try again very different using crackling campfire so just to remind you we use crackling campfire as the deeper red stroke orange in here we used wild honey and ground espresso for this dark one and then we used tattered rose aged mahogany and dusty concord for that one so again let me know if you try any of these if you're inspired to try any if you know of any combinations that work beautifully with particular colors i'd love to hear from you let me know in the comments please do give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you again very very soon with another distress oxide color combination video